In today's video, we're going to extract all the Caterium from around the world, which gets transported on this train. And I'm going to show you how we did that today. But the first thing we need to do is we need to modify this area right here. Because as you know, my rule of thumb is if you don't like something, delete it, rebuild it. And that is exactly what we're going to do with this section of the factory. So as you know, we've got one, two, three, four train stations right here. And this is where initially we was going to bring in multiple Caterium trains. But as you know, from the intro of this video, we are now utilizing one train to go around the world to pick up all 16 nodes. Right, so let's open my little favorite program, Paint. Uh, because, as you can see, as I've stated before, there is 16 nodes of Caterium. And we have eight uh, green ones, which are the pures, and we have eight orange ones, which are the normals. And you probably noticed by now that there is no impure Caterium nodes. But my first dilemma I'm trying to work out, my first plan of action for this uh, video, is how do we want to collect each of these nodes? Obviously, it's going to be on the train line. And again, obviously, it's going to be on the train network but we need to figure out which direction do we want to take it this general direction or do we want to take it down here the reason being is obviously i'm using left hand side traffic which is the correct way of course i want to look at uh which ones in groups which do we want to pick up uh you know like do i want to pick up these three uh, do i want to pick up all these three together and that kind of so, uh, stuff so i think what i'm going to do is because in this area here is this is where my caterium plant is i'm thinking we take the train along this route here which is where the highway goes collects this node then moves along here because the train goes through the canyon here and then around here where the starter base is right so i'm thinking we grab these three and bring these onto a train station in this area and then the train comes along this highway comes into the desert we're going to make a little off road here to collect these two onto a train station here it's then going to move across the desert down here around this to pick up this green node at a station here and then come down here follows this around because as we know this train line here last episode we connected it through this what's it called this oasis it then comes down here and then around into the swamp right so we're going to connect a new line here up so this line here let's choose a different color uh this is going to be the new line this this yellow one here we're going to add a new train line in here and that's going to grab just purely that there but it might be useful in the future to grab the other nodes that we might want up here so we're going to add this in here and then we're going to bring that down into the into the swamp to collect this these three caterium nodes which will get added into a train station here but this will also be beneficial for us later because we're going to need it for the nuclear plant it's then going to come down this route and then it's going to come down here past the swamp and then down here actually we're going to add this caterium node to this station as well um but as you know this is going to be a new line that's going to get added here a new train train line and it's going to come back onto this line here and then it's then going to come into the blue crater lake where it's then going to come outside the aluminum uh, aluminum plant the aluminium plant which is positioned here it's then going to collect the these two caterium nodes onto a train station out front of the building and then make its way down here along the front to pick up these two caterium nodes which will be on its own train line and then come along here down into this area We'll then pick up this one to then go underneath the highway to then go into the Caterium plant back to the train station there. So that's what I'm thinking right now. And hopefully this is the best intro you've ever seen on a YouTube video <laughs> because I never thought I'd be using paint to explain. And hopefully this makes sense and the plan for this video. Hopefully it's all right. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. Right, so as you can see, I removed the train stations from this location, the copper one and the four Caterium ones. The reason being is the train that we're going to be having is going to be an extremely long boy, which is going to be four locomotives, two on the front, two on the back, and 16 freight cars in the middle. And you must be wondering if you've not seen the train signal or the train guide videos I've done in the past, is for every one locomotive, it needs one, uh, four freight cars. It can support four freight cars going up hills and accelerating from train stations. So that's the way, that's the best way to keep it optimized for the trains. Hence the reason we've got four locomotives for every four uh, freight cars, equaling 16 in total. So what I want to do is I want to build the train station. 
So that's what I went and did. I've added the station, I've added the storage, I've added some belts that are extremely bugged right now because as you can see, I've got Caterium on them, even though there is no Caterium on them. So if I remove a belt like now, you can see the Caterium doesn't move. It is a known bug, it is on the QA site. So just ignore it. It was something I was testing to see if everything is running smoothly. And uh, if that's the direction I kind of want to take the Caterium, I don't know yet. Nothing is final until the next video comes out, <laughs> as you might know by now. But I've been extremely hard at work on the live stream because, you know, I build all of these uh, episodes live. So you can see me build them and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of these have tuned in, which I really do appreciate and glad you're enjoying the live stream content of the behind the scenes of how I make this. And you can actually watch this as well right now. So when you go over to my YouTube channel, if you just click the live category, you can see the past broadcasts right here. The day number one of the extraction. So when you go onto this one, you'll see the progression minute by minute, hour by hour, working on this video, creating save checkpoints for me then to take it into post-production, which is where we are now for your guys' faces into a smaller, shorter video. And that goes all the way up until this video right here. So we can see seven hours, seven hours, 10 hours, seven hours, near enough eight, seven and a half hours working towards this video. If you're a fan of the extreme long content, I would highly recommend going over there after you've watched this video to see how we got to this point. And right now, as I said, we've got the train station down here. I put the train in and I want to go through a few things I've done because I have completed the network and all that good stuff, but I want to give you the reasons why I've done what I've done at certain points throughout this route. And that is this one right here. So we've done an overpass. And the reason we've done this is because this train is extremely long. And with it being so long, if it was to pull out into this junction, it's going to occupy this section for a while. And this train like right, right here, might have to stop, which we don't really want to get the train stopping because they've got to go from A to B without any obstructions, really. So let's jump into the train and let's give you a bit of a route, uh, a bit of a tour of what we've done. So we're going to go on the overpass. Just ignore these cables right now. I'm trying to figure out how we want to do this, how to change the cables. But I've added a little bit of a third line onto this. So we now have the train pulling out. It then sticks to its own lane at the side of the highway. The reason being is because the train station we're going to is actually on the right hand side. So there's no point in bringing it onto that left hand side track over there to only come off to congest that line as well and stop any traffic. So we're keeping it alongside this highway. It then makes its way down here where it then pulls into this station to pick up its first collection. And as you can see, it is a bit crazy with all these empty platforms only to pick up one item. And that is this one right here. So the train will pull in, it will then stop right here and collect what it needs to collect, which would be this first Caterium node, which is that one just up on the hill right there. Caterium comes along here and all this stuff. As you can tell, it's not decorated yet. There's no form of supports or anything like this. That's because I'm trialing it, see if it, if it works. Uh, and if I like it, if I don't like it, I don't have to delete as much. So it picks up this one and then it comes along here. It then makes its way. So it was still sticking to the idea that I showed at the beginning of the video with the routes that we took. So we take off from this station and we're going to stick to the same right hand side of this highway because there's no point of crossing over to the left to only come back onto the right again. If I was going to the left, I may as well go over there. So now we have a three lane highway with the left going forward, the right going forward, and the, the, the middle track is technically coming towards us. So am I driving on the right side right now? Which is the right side? <laughs> it then comes down here. Ignore this train. This is the train I've been using to bring supplies in here. It then pulls into this station where it then collects the Northern Forest Line. So we're going to pull up here and this is where it picks up three. And my train doesn't want to break. Well, the animation of the top of the train doesn't want to open up. It then picks up three Caterium nodes, which are from these locations here. We've got one that's up there. That's a bomb. And then we've also got the other two Caterium nodes, which there's a beacon at right now, which is literally there. And there's a second one there. Can you stop holstering weapons, please? Uh, and it picks them them three up and it then makes its way across this um, foundation here. 
uh, where I've started to work on the decoration for it. It brings all the Caterium all the way down here on these three belts into the station. And then this is where I'm the only point throughout this whole entire network will this train ever join onto the existing network. So we're going to take off from here. We're then going to make our way up this uh, ramp. Again, ignore the train, uh, ignore the power cables here. We're going to change them. It then makes its way across this little route. Over this junction, where then it comes down here and joins on to this train line here. And I've come up with a, a little bit of an idea and it works well. And I'm going to show you. So I'm going to jump out my train. But I've come up with this little design and it works really well and looks well as well. So we've got, there was a big empty gap here, if you remember before. And all I've done is I've just got beams at increments of one and just added them to this. So I've got it from there to go to there, then there to go to there. And it creates this form of grid right here. And it looks pretty nice and it just makes the network look a little bit more full. But as you can see, this is the only contact, well, you can't see it yet, but this is the only point where this train is going to interact with this line to possibly start a congestion up. So let's get back on the train and let's show you where this goes to next. So it's going to make its way through the canyon and its next destination is going to be the desert. So upon arriving to the desert, you're going to notice we now have created a split right here which we're going to do a left, where normally I'll be going down this way. So we're going to do a left, and we're going to head into this station. As you can tell, there is still no supports on this, because I don't know if this train station is going to be staying here. Uh, but for now, it will be. Uh, it's going to come into here and then pick up the two Caterium nodes that come from the north side of the forest, which is... I'm going way too fast. It's fine. Anyway, it picks up a continuum over there and a continuum from there. So, and then it makes its way along this straight right here. Um, and it's quite a long straight, this. Um, but you can see things are moving. And that plant over there, the starter factory, is going to be getting removed soon. Um, and yeah, it's going to be sad to see it go, but... We've got to be on the up and up because what we're going to be doing here in the future is going to be quite massive. So hopefully you're ready for that. Right, so we start coming down here and we start making our way down this little drop here. So kind of like a roller coaster right now. And we're coming into this station because this is where the next Caterium is, which is right there. And the train station is here. And we're going to do some kind of fun little supports for the decoration of this. And I think I'll probably put that in the second video. So it picks up the Caterium from here. It then makes its way through this station and then it goes all the way around and connects up with the highway that we built in the previous video, which is the video where we completed the highway. And this is just an extension uh, because that highway there is the core route around the world. This one is just an extension. And if we go back over to our paints, currently we are right here on this section. This is the new yellow line that we've built and we're heading towards this new yellow line right here. So we're going to join back onto the highway right now. We have no trains coming down here, so there's no congestion or anything we need to worry about. But later down the line, this might have to change and maybe this train track sticks to the left for it then to go over. Maybe. I don't know yet. Um, but right now, this is how we're keeping it. And we are then going to head into the swamp right here. And also, just if you are curious, the signs are currently blanked out. It is a known bug right now. It's a visual bug, um, but all the signs are, are working. But some, some of them are, you know, are fine, but some of them are not. And it heads all the way up here, and we can see the train station over here. This is the um, biggest train station we've actually got. And we can actually see our little sister right here, our sister train, already collecting uh, the Caterium that we need. But also, just as a little disclaimer, because I'm obviously driving this train, uh, I will not be this close, or when they are automated, they will not be this close to this train station. So it's going to come into this station, pick up this Caterium, make its way out, and start heading to the aluminium plant. 
where it will pick up the next Katerian. So upon exiting the swamp, we're actually going to go on the overpass here, again, just to stop any form of traffic building up uh, for later on, um, because we know we are going to have to overlap this train line here uh, and then come down here and join on. Um, and eventually, we might keep this as a separate track here, um, because in a second, we're going to be doing another overpass to go onto the right-hand side. But you might have also noticed since the previous video, I've added the um, power towers, the power pylons. We've added the signals. We've finished the decoration on this highway now. Uh, and I will be releasing this highway to your guys' faces in the next Satisfactory video, which will be a dedicated blueprint. And there'll be something in there to show you as well, which I'm working on currently for the next Satisfactory episode of this series which will be to start producing the Caterium, but also making a new roadway for trucks to bring in some coal. So upon entering this section, we're going to see we're going to be slowing down here, and we're going to do another left. But I'm, I've done another little thing here, you can kind of see it already, which is this. And all I've done is, because I've created an up ramp, I've got the beams to create the same equal distance here, and uh, it kind of makes this good old shape. Do you remember them old uh, shapes used to make in math class and all that kind of stuff? It's basically one of these. And it kind of works with this highway and works pretty well. Um, so let's get back on the train. And you can see that we're already making an overpass. We're going on to an overpass. The reason being is because we're, we're now going to get to a heavily congested train area. And we want to try and keep this train on its own dedicated line. So we're going to shift back over to the right hand side lane because one we have the uh, collection point here for the uh, train picking up the aluminium casings uh, we also have the copper being collected here and then we've also got all the water being delivered here so we are going to keep on our own route uh, our own track so this train because it you know it will block up look at that small little gap there it fits uh, and this is where we've added the new train station so this is going to pick up more caterium from here um, and this was a lot easier to build than I thought, just because the Caterium was already collected over there, um, which we're not utilizing now. And this runs along this highway, picks up the Caterium here, and then heads back over onto another overpass. Again, because we don't want it to join onto this one to cause congestion. So this train line actually sticks as a third line on the left line here. So this goes all the way around this highway, and it then heads to the next train station, which is actually on the left-hand side of the highway as well, which is in the grasslands. So we are currently arriving at the station now, but the, 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 the other Caterian train is just taking off now at this station. And we built this right next to the copper node, which, as you know, that copper goes to the aluminium plant. And I'm liking the look of this train station, uh, this train, this like train network that we built throughout the world. Um, it's the most extensive build I've done regarding trains out of all the playthroughs that I've done and the many, many hours I've played within this game. So then what I've done is the, the Caterium will then get collected from here. It will then leave this station. This is just coming from the grasslands, from them over there. I do need to put some pillars and supports and everything down. I know a lot of you have asked. And then also, we've also got the Caterium running along the side of the train line here, which is coming from that little island in the bottom kind of left there you can see the lift that's then going to make its way along there into the train station but now we are en route to the golden coast which is our final stop of caterium collection and we're staying on the left here because again we don't want to go onto this line to possibly cause any backups um, so we're going to head over here and then we're going to go and split off from the highway once again and we're going to come along here we're going to hang a right and then stick to the coast here and move to the next station, which the other train had just entered for its last collection. And we're going to move her in. As you can see, I've already started doing the supports here. But we are going to have to slow down here now because we're going to have to, you know, make room for this train to take off. Take off. What is it? A bloody plane? But this is the last Caterium stop now, and that should be setting off any second. And... Uh, go. Okay, so then this train then picks up at this station and then makes its way around here. 
And what we've done is because, as you know, with the train being so long, I've had to flip the train station around at the Caterium plant. Because if we was to have the entrance to the Caterium plant on this side, um, it means the train will have to come in from the highway, which possibly, if like we are in a like the predicament we're in now, there's a train in front, there's a train behind. That train is going to go into the Caterium station, but then this one is going to wait at the block signal just before the station, um, and it might cause backup. So we've had to make this little route underneath the highway here, which then comes up this ramp and then into the station where we initially started. And this will where it will drop off all the Caterium, where we'll then start the production of the actual factory itself as well. And as you can tell, we're going to come back. And I am going to stop, I swear. Everything is fine. It was just a little nudge. But I have been doing some little testing. And as you can see, I've just got these eight, uh, sorry, 16 um, resource sinks here. Because what I'm doing is these are 780 lines. I know people might say you're sending 780 lines, even though you're bringing in 600 on the pure and 300 on the normal night uh, lines but i just wanted to make sure everything is it can be running uh and that this is how i like to stress things to make sure that we have uh, added enough trains onto this line to make sure that there's not a big enough distance so just so you guys know this train line has got seven of these golden shaft trains and that's what we're going to be calling them from now seven golden shafts and the way they've been spread out is there's one station here which is the drop off point and then this station here and then this station here so i set off this train that was in this location when the train arrived at this station here and then when a station when the train arrived at this station and it uh, set off from uh, the station here, I then set off another one. So each station has got new enough an increment of two, well, sorry, each train has got an increment or distance from each other with approximately about two stations away. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of a mouthful, but that is basically what I've just been working on this past week, which is working on these trains, taking it around the world and grabbing all the Caterium that we have. So now the big question is how long does it actually take for one train to go from here to get back around here? So we did a test. So the way we did the test is we made sure that we found the Caterium train that did not stop for any particular reason. Uh, I, for example, the, the traffic uh, at the intersection over there where the quartz train might block it. And then we also did it from the train making the beep sound with the horn setting off and then coming back again and then setting off again and in total it was 15 minutes and 32 seconds it took for this train to go from a which is here all the way around back here to set off again it's up 15 minutes and 32 seconds but with the seven trains that i've added it's now brought that down to uh you know at least at least two minutes uh for a train to arrive at the next stop but right now i've i've currently occupied a train and there might already be a train waiting down here <laughs> backed up actually there isn't but it could be on its way it is we can just see it in the background over there arriving at the golden coast caterium plant so i apologize if this is not the normal type of video that you normally get from this channel especially when it comes to building satisfactory stuff but this was more of an explanational video because you guys know we've been doing trains for a long time now you guys might know about the trains but i need to show you where we are bringing the caterium from how we're bringing it and my thought process and you know, all that kind of good stuff. But in the next video, we're going to start putting this Caterium to use and also what we're going to be doing with this location over here because we're going to start using some trucks, which looks a little something like this. As you know, I'm trying to build a cyberpunkish factory within this area and we're constantly going to keep building it up. So this new road here is going to be bringing coal from the uh, Crater Lakes and it's also going to be transporting it all the way over to the water bottling facility. So we're kind of doing this kind of design, which will wrap around the highway just like this, but on a lower level. Head to the water bottling facility in the far distance, where it will then uh, 
provide the trucks with coal where them trucks will deliver the water bottles to this location where we can then start processing all the bloody Caterium. So make sure to tune in next time and thank you so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this style of video, a little bit different as I stated, but thank you so much for watching and as always, keep bloody smiling.